Kylie Jenner's pregnancy announcement stunned her fans, and Gigi Hadid seemingly just got back with Zayn Malik before she became pregnant. While some took to motherhood quickly, Hilary Duff thought she made a huge mistake after the birth of her second child. Let's take a look at some other celebrities you might not have realized became parents at a young age. Kylie Jenner when Kylie Jenner became pregnant at the age of 20, she proved once and for all that the Kardashian-Jenner family can keep things quiet. Kim Kardashian called her pregnancy the best kept secret of our generation. And Kylie stayed out of the spotlight until her daughter Stormy Webster was born. Fans of Keeping Up With The Kardashians know that this star always talked about having kids young, and even though she and Stormy's father, Travis Scott, split up, she said she's not done having kids. Like her big sister Kim, Kylie wants to have four kids in total, although she isn't sure when it'll happen. She'd also like to call one of them Rose, a name she had in mind for Stormy that she didn't end up using. Gigi Hadid Supermodel Gigi Hadid didn't quite manage to achieve Kylie's level of secrecy when it came to her own pregnancy. Shortly after celebrating her 25th birthday with her boyfriend Zayn Malik, news came out that the recently reunited couple was expecting. Gigi confirmed this during an interview with Jimmy Fallon, although she admitted that she wished she could have announced it on her own terms. We're very excited and, and happy and grateful for everyone's well wishes and support. Apparently, her bagel-shaped birthday cake was a reference to the everything bagel cravings she's had since becoming pregnant. Plenty of celebs are happy for Gigi and Zayn, including Gigi's ex, former Bachelorette contestant Tyler Cameron, who felt forced to explicitly tell fans that he is not the father. Adele Becoming a parent is never easy, but 24-year-old Adele had to deal with postpartum depression after she and her now ex-husband Simon Konecki had their first son, Angelo. She admitted that she often felt frightened after her son was born, but found comfort in spending time with other moms. While she might have more kids at some point, she says she's still trying to catch up on her lack of sleep from having Angelo. Reese Witherspoon we all know that nowadays, Reese Witherspoon's oldest child, Ava Felipe, is pretty much her twin. But there was a time when Reese was a 23-year-old mother after welcoming her first child with her now ex-husband, Ryan Felipe. In addition to daughter Ava, she and Ryan also have a son named Deacon Felipe, and Reese has another son, Tennessee James, with her now husband. Reese has admitted that becoming a mom at a young age was scary, especially since she wasn't sure how it would impact her life and career. But looking back, she says she was glad she got started young, and having Tennessee at age 37 was a much bigger strain on her health. This star loves being a mom and is seemingly content with the size of her family. Britney Spears when Britney Spears announced she was pregnant with her first child at the age of 23, fans were still less surprised than when she married Kevin Federline after only three months of dating. In addition to Sean, the now former couple also have another son named Jaden James, and Kevin has primary custody of the children. An anonymous source told HollywoodLife.com that this star wants to have another child with her now boyfriend, Sam Asghari, but the singer herself has yet to confirm anything. Right now, she's just trying to get more visitation with her two sons. Jamie Lynn Spears Although some fans blamed Jamie Lynn Spears' pregnancy for getting Zoe 101 cancelled, she insists the show was already finished when she became pregnant at age 16. Fans were stunned to hear that she was expecting a child with then-boyfriend Casey Aldridge, but according to Jamie, there's nothing wrong with being a young mother. She believes that love is the most important part of being a parent, and after welcoming daughter Maddie Brienne, she later had another daughter, Ivy Joan, with her husband, Jamie Watson. Louis Tomlinson Although One Direction star Louis Tomlinson admits he didn't plan on becoming a father at the age of 24, he loves being a father to his son, Freddie Rain. He and stylist Brianna Jungworth welcomed their son to the world on January 21st, 2016, and Louis has called his arrival a blessing. According to Louis, his mother had him at age 19, and since she worked as a midwife, he has plenty of experience holding babies. Since Louis loves being a parent, it's not surprising he wants to have more kids at some point. Right now, he's trying to focus on his career and spending time with his son, Freddie. Sofia Vergara 
Sofia Vergara got married to her high school sweetheart Joe Gonzalez when she was only 18 years old, and when she was 20, she gave birth to her son, Manolo Gonzalez Vergara. She and Joe divorced a year later, and Sofia says becoming a single mom at a young age helped motivate her to keep going. She knew she had to hustle hard to provide for Manolo, who inspired her to be responsible and practical with her income. In 2015, she said she was open to having more children with husband Joe Manganiello, but it wasn't something she was actively working on. Now, it seems like Sophia just wants to enjoy other people's babies. Will Smith we all know Will Smith and his wife Jada Pinkett Smith have two kids, Jaden and Willow, but fans sometimes forget that Will became a parent at age 24 with his first wife, Cherie Zampino. Their son is Willard Carroll Smith III, and Will admits becoming a father to Trey wasn't easy. He felt betrayed by his parents' divorce, and Will says there was struggle on both sides of their relationship. But after putting in the effort, Trey now says his father is also his best friend. Victoria and David Beckham when Victoria Beckham and David Beckham were 24 and 23 respectively, they became parents to Brooklyn Joseph. Since then, they've added Romeo James, Cruz David, and Harper Seven to the family. Victoria says having kids taught her to appreciate her body and the amazing things it's capable of. Although none of their kids aspire to be professional soccer players, they've always been the very picture of a happy family. Ashley Simpson in May 2020, Ashley Simpson and her husband, Evan Ross, announced they were expecting in a sweet Instagram post. Evan and Ashley have a daughter together named Jagger Snow, and when she was 24, Ashley became a mom to son Bronx Wentz with her now ex-husband Pete Wentz. According to Ashley, she and Pete have the co-parenting thing down pat and enjoy being a blended family. This singer admits her schedule can be crazy, so having more hands to help out with the kids is definitely a good thing. Elizabeth Taylor Legendary actress Elizabeth Taylor grew up being sheltered by her parents and admits she was often immature when she got married the first time at age 18. After divorcing Conrad Hilton Jr. only eight months after their wedding, she married actor Michael Wilding and gave birth to their first son, Michael Howard, when she was 20 years old. She and Conrad had another son, Christopher Edward, before they divorced in 1957. Elizabeth had a daughter, Elizabeth Francis, with her third husband, Mike Todd, and later adopted Maria Burton. This star has four children of her own, and now she has grandchildren as well. Solange Knowles after getting married at only 17, Solange gave birth to her son, Daniel Jules J. Smith Jr. Although she admits her child with now ex-husband Daniel Smith was unplanned, Solange says becoming a teen mom forced her to be strong and hold her head high. She says there's a serious stigma against young parents, and she often found it challenging to balance her career and her son. Although Solange seems content to be a mother of one, her mother Tina Knowles Lawson says she definitely wants more grandchildren. Liam Payne According to One Direction member Liam Payne, having a son at the age of 23 wasn't as difficult as having to stay away from him due to social distancing. He and his now ex, Cheryl Tweedy, have an adorable son named Bear, but these parents prefer to stay private when it comes to their child. When COVID-19 caused a lockdown, Liam ended up missing Bear's third birthday celebration. Although the father and son are making it work through FaceTime calls, they look forward to being reunited. Candace Cameron Bure Actress Candace Cameron Bure went from starring on Full House to coping with an empty house once her kids moved out. She and husband Valeri Bure have three kids, the first of whom she had when she was 22. Candace says her time with Natasha, Lev, and Maxim went by so fast, and before she knew it, she was dealing with an empty nest. But she and Valeri didn't get to enjoy it for long, since her children chose to quarantine with her during the COVID-19 pandemic. Although this was a fuller house than she'd gotten used to, Candace says she was happy to have more time to spend with her kids. Kate Hudson Kate Hudson already has three kids, but she might not be done yet. She had her first child, Ryder Russell Robinson, when she was 23 and married to her now ex-husband, Black Crow's frontman Chris Robinson. After that, she had Bingham Han Bellamy with Muse frontman Matt Bellamy and a daughter, Rainy Rose Hudson Fujikawa with Danny Fujikawa. In February of 2020, Kate revealed that she may want to add another member of her family while Rainy is still young, because once this mom is out of the baby phase, she knows she may be more reluctant to start changing diapers again. Hilary Duff 
Hilary Duff became a first-time mom at the age of 23 when she and her now ex-husband Mike Comrie welcomed her son Luca Cruz Comrie into the world. But according to Hilary, having a second child was even more difficult in some ways. When her son Luca was just shy of seven years old, she and her husband Matthew Coma had a daughter named Banks Violet Blair. Hilary said she had to cope with a lot of mom guilt and worried Luca would feel neglected by the time and attention she had to spend on little Banks. But apparently, these two kids share a close bond, which makes Hillary feel more confident about her decision to grow her family. LeBron James You probably know LeBron James is an incredible basketball player, but did you know that he was a teenage dad? He married his high school sweetheart Savannah Brinson, and his first son was born when LeBron was 19. Even though it was over a decade ago, LeBron admits that he wishes he didn't name his eldest son after himself. He claims that since he grew up without a father himself, he wanted to ensure that his son, Bronny, felt connected to him. Later, after having his other kids, Bryce and Zuri, LeBron learned that there's no way to create a blueprint for a perfect childhood, no matter how hard you try. In addition to being a loving father to his own kids, this sports legend has also written books he hopes will inspire other children. Black China Black China became a mother at the age of 24 when she and rapper Tyga had a son named King Cairo Stevenson. She also has a daughter named Dream with Rob Kardashian and says she's open to having more kids with one stipulation. Apparently, Black China would love to have four kids in total, but she refuses to have any more than that. Why? Because she doesn't want to be forced to buy a minivan to accommodate her large family. Taylor Hansen Taylor Hansen became famous as one of the three brothers in the group Hansen, but now this singer has six kids of his own. He and his wife, Natalie Ann Bryant, had their first child, Jordan Ezra, when Taylor was only 19, and have since welcomed Penelope, River Samuel, Vigo Mariah, Wilhelmina Jane, and Claude Indiana. Although they obviously weren't all in the band, Taylor is one of seven kids himself. Apparently, the Hansons are rather tight-knit, and Taylor says his kids love having tons of cousins to play with. Were these celebs smart to start their families young? Let us know what you think in the comment section below, and don't forget to click on the subscribe button and turn on your notifications for more videos from us here at The Taco. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again next time.